Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. My 600 pound life, idiotic and fail moments. For nearly a decade now, My 600 Pound Life has been airing on TV and has been showing the lifelong journeys of people that appear on the show. However, even though these journeys are full of excitement and joy, every road has its bumps. So let's take a look at My 600 Pound Life idiotic and fail moments. To thank you for watching this video, we're offering you an absolutely free training webinar. Have you ever wondered how to end procrastination and self-sabotage so you can unleash your full potential to live the life you deserve? Number one best-selling author and high-performance coach Peter Sage is hosting a free webinar where he'll teach you how to increase your wealth with less time and struggle, and also how to hyper-boost your growth and success so you can finally break out of any rut you find yourself in. Right now, Peter and his team are offering a free $100 gift to anyone who doesn't find his webinar as the best use of their time within the last five years. Now, let's get back to the video. Number five, season nine, Cindy Vila. My 600 pound life is a show in which people who are close to weighing 600 pounds fight to lose the weight and get their lives back. Cindy Vila's story is one of season nine's most loved and rated stories. Cindy Vila is a 45 year old from Portland, Texas who weighs more than 600 pounds and cannot even perform basic tasks by herself, such as going to the bathroom, taking a shower, etc. Because she cannot stand for more than two to three minutes because of her weight. The idiotic part of her story is that she did not even want to be treated. She is resistant to change because she has spent years creating her own little world. But she needs this help because her life was in danger. She was even on oxygen support. But still, she wanted just to go with the flow. However, her friend Sandy convinced her to go to doctor now. She also refused, but then Sandy had to cry to convince her. Sandy is a true friend, right? However, Cindy's food addiction is not just because she loves to eat. It is because of a childhood trauma she faced, and which is why she thought if she became bigger and old, she would be able to get rid of the trauma, which is why she started to eat like crazy. She was 200 pounds when she was just 14. Well, her traumatic story brought tears to almost every viewer. But we are just glad that she went to Dr. Now. But the twist is that she fired him and kept making excuses. Number 4. Season 8. Lenitha. Yeah, bro. Lenitha was a special guest on the show because even before coming to the show, she had the mission to lose 451 pounds for her two-year-old daughter. She even had a Facebook page where she used to post videos and photos of her weight loss journey. She also went viral for a video of her dancing workout, which was mainly the reason why she was invited to the show. However, Lenitha was not as serious about losing weight as she seemed. Dr. Now reported that Lenitha did not even come to her first few appointments. And when Dr. Now gave her the task to follow the 1200 calorie diet and lose 60 pounds, she did not follow that and only lost 29 pounds. She kept using spending time with her daughter as an excuse to get away from the treatment she needed and eventually ended up dropping out from the show. You gotta make your health a priority, which unfortunately Lenitha did not understand. Number three, season four, Lupe. One of the reasons I hate being out in public is that I can never use the restroom anywhere. To thank you for watching this video, we're offering you an absolutely free training webinar. How would you feel knowing that you could pay every bill you have right now as well as any future bills that come in? Commission Hero is a proven system that has helped over 8,000 people earn upwards of $1,000 a day or more. The best part is that there is zero experience needed to get started. In this free training, Robbie Blanchard and his team will teach you the top three secrets to how and why this system works and how it can also work for you. Join the thousands of people who have found success and financial freedom using Commission Hero. Right now, the first hundred people that use the link below will get access to this free webinar. Now let's get back to the video. Most people face failures and crazy moments at the end of their journey. But season four's Lupe had the worst beginning. Her weight loss journey started in the hospital, where she lost over 70 pounds, which was a good start for her, but it did not last long. Because of the weird and wrong eating habits, she gained more than 80 pounds before her first appointment with Dr. Now. So everything she lost at the hospital was a complete fail. 
But this was not the only misery Lupe had to face before her first appointment. Something really bad happened to her. She wanted to use the bathroom, and her husband took her, but unfortunately, the toilet broke because of her weight, and she could not stand up. Her husband tried to lift her, but eventually he had to call for help. That did not work too. Then Dr. Now had to call the fire brigade to lift her because he had doubts that if people kept forcing her to lift, she might have a cardiac arrest, which would make situations worse for her. Poor Lupe had to go through a lot before she even started her journey. Number 2. Season 6. Lisa Fleming They're swollen because you need to lose weight, which is what we've been trying to get you to do. Why are you being resistant to that? Season 6's Lisa Fleming was one of the most loved appearances of the season. She started her journey with 740 pounds with her daughter and boyfriend who had to do everything for her. She could not even get out of bed without any help. Even when she had to go to Houston to see Dr. Now, it took several strong men to lift her up from her bed and shift her to the stretcher. And they even had to make a strong porch outside her house that could support her weight. And while they were building a porch, Lisa decided to eat. That was just the start, but throughout her journey, she did lose 200 pounds, but she kept having major meltdowns because she wanted to eat. However, unfortunately, Lisa could not make it, and we had to say bye to her at the age of 50. Number 1. Season 9. Irene. My favorite too. Oh girl, look at that. I know what you like. My mouth is watering. Oh my god. <laughs> Sadly, as with most of the stories featured on this show, Irene's food addiction stems from some personal trauma. Food is an enormous source of comfort for her. She began using food to cope when her mother and her father split. Then her food addiction amplified when she fell victim to her family's pattern and ended up with a toxic partner of her own. This toxic relationship led her to becoming a single mother at the young age of 17. Unfortunately, the tragedies just kept coming. A short while later, Irene lost her dad, mom, older sister, and aunt, all within a two-year time period. She found herself with nowhere to turn but a shelter for women and children. The shelter eventually forced her to leave because she was expecting. She had four kids, out of which three were taken away from her because of her addiction. This was when she decided to take help. However, she was not serious about that. She did not complete any task Dr. Now gave her. She even kept secretly eating while taking help from Dr. Now, which made him believe that she is not the deserving person for his help, and he ended up firing her because he could only help her if she really wanted it, which she clearly did not. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.